In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Reference Angles in Radians, problem type 1. In this example, we're asked to find the reference angle for 2 pi thirds. And to do so, I'll start by just indicating where 2 pi thirds falls on our unit circle. And 2 pi thirds is one of those standard measures on the unit circle. And I find it helpful to recreate some of those standard measures by just remembering the patterns. So first starting at the positive x-axis being zero radians. Then we have a pattern that moves by fourths. So this would be in the middle here, pi fourths. And then two pi fourths, which simplifies to pi halves. Next, three pi fourths. And then four pi fourths which simplifies to just pi. So going with the reduced forms here, I've labeled the first couple of quadrants, and I could keep going all the way around the unit circle if necessary. The second pattern increments by six. So this first tick here is pi sixth. Next would be two pi six, which simplifies to pi thirds. And then it's already labeled, but this top tick would be 3 pi 6, which we've already simplified here as pi halves. The next would be 4 pi 6, which simplifies to 2 pi thirds. And that is the angle that we're using here. So we've located it because it was one of the standard radian measures. This angle is 2 pi thirds. However, we are asked for the reference angle for two pi thirds. And reference angles are always measured against the nearest portion of the x-axis. So for this angle, the reference angle would be here. And to find that measure, which I can call theta, I know that adding theta and our two pi thirds, adding those two angles would take me halfway around or all the way around to pi and from here I can solve for theta by subtracting the 2 pi thirds over. So theta equals pi minus 2 pi thirds. To get a common denominator, pi would be 3 pi thirds minus 2 pi thirds, which is just pi thirds. So theta here is pi thirds. That's our reference angle, the angle that's made against the x-axis and it's always a positive angle, regardless of which way I'm measuring against the x-axis. 